Hey everybody, welcome to lesson three, Jumbotron pages. We're doing so great with Bootstrap, learning a lot, and now we're ready to start the next lesson. So what is a Jumbotron page? A Jumbotron page is a page that has this nice call out at the top. I know it's really tiny right here, but we can still see a small preview. And this little gray bubble at the top here is a Jumbotron. And what it's great for is calling out extra attention to something or just giving the page a nice title at the top. So all of the site content would go under the Jumbotron as you see here, and that's exactly what we're gonna do in this exercise. We're gonna go back and copy our code from the collage on the theme exercise. We're going to add in a title at the top, and we are going to create a few or add a few divs to our body. The divs that we're adding will be the container div, which we just practiced. We're also going to play around with the text center class. And inside of that container div, we're going to create a jumbotron div with a header, titling or collage, and a paragraph explaining what our collage is about. Under the jumbotron, but still inside of the container, we're going to copy over those images from our collage. And just a few things to notice, the width and the height are set to the same amount. We completed this back in our HTML exercise before we even knew about the style tag. And what we are gonna end with is deleting the attributes in our images and writing a new rule in our style sheet file that's gonna set the width and height to 250 and 375 respectively. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna wanna do is go over and copy our collage on a theme exercise. So this needs to be completed before you can work on this exercise. I did my collage on emojis, if I remember correctly, and I'm excited to add some bootstrap to this. So if I run this, I should be able to see all my code and I just ran it to make sure it's working properly. And I'm gonna copy everything in the body. Now, if you are not seeing one of your images for some reason, just go back and add in a different image to your collage to make sure you have those four images. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in here. Okay, actually before I paste it, I have it copied so it's ready to go. Let's go ahead and add in our exercise content first. So we're gonna add a title. Okay, so the title should go here. Remember that you can still add a title, you can still add your own CSS, but it needs to go under the bootstrap code. I'm just pointing that out again because it's really important. You wanna make sure the bootstrap stuff goes above your title. So we are going to title this my first Jumbotron. Now this is only gonna show in the tab, so if we run our code, we'll still see nothing in the body. Okay, inside of the body, I'm gonna start creating my content. So first thing I wanna do is have a div with the class equal to container and text center. This is going to make the content in your web page responsive and it's the first step in creating the body the body content. Inside of the div, to make your Jumbotron, you're just going to add another div with the class equal to Jumbotron. So div class equal to Jumbotron. Okay, now the content that you want inside of your Jumbotron is gonna go in this div. So we are going to add in a header with the title of our collage. So I'm just going to title mine emoji collage. You can title yours related to the theme that you chose. And then a paragraph tag that explains what your collage is about. So a collage of my favorite emojis. Beautiful. So that should be it as far as the content goes. Oh, and also 
under the jumbotron but still inside of the container we're going to copy the images so i already have that on my clipboard so i'm just going to go under this paragraph oh actually sorry under the closing jumbotron div tag and i'm going to paste in my images so this is basically um how you would do this on a on a web page the content of your web page is generally going to go under the jumbotron remember the jumbotron is useful for having a nice title or page heading but the content will go under the jumbotron generally and we want to delete that break tag and let's run this and see what we have so far i'm going to open this up in a new window so we can see it clearly and this looks great so far so notice the jumbotron i know it was hard to tell in the preview but the jumbotron is called jumbotron for a reason it really takes up a lot of space it's jumbo and it really calls attention to the heading and title of a web page so it's a really nice feature to include nice right at the top and because we also added that class of text center it applied the style rules from the bootstrap css to that content and centered in that paragraph a collage of my favorite emojis and it also centered in the h1 tag so you can add multiple classes or names to a class attribute and the rules that are related to that class will apply so here we added or applied the jumbotron rule and the text center rule. So it looks great. Now underneath the jumbotron, we have the images. And right now those images are set to an equal height and width. We wanna adjust that in our style sheet. So we want to write a new rule for that. Notice our style sheet's already linked in, but just like the title, it is also underneath the bootstrap code. So last time I'm gonna point that out, totally fine if you want to add in your own css you most likely will that makes sense you want to still customize your website further but you want to make sure that it's under the bootstrap code so over in our style sheet let's write in a rule for our images so i'm going to need the image tag selector and the size is 250 by 375. so we are going to add in the width attribute or property and set it to 250 pixels and the height of 375 pixels. Let's save this, let's refresh it. And there we go, you should have a collage now with adjusted image height and width. Very nice job on your first Jumbotron page. If you have any questions, please leave it in a comment and keep up the amazing work.